Eastern Kentucky University has had a long tradition of providing a successful intercollegiate athletics program, including its men's basketball squad, which began play in the 1909 to 1910 academic year. In the beginning years, the early leaders in Eastern's athletics department were also required to teach a varied number of subjects in addition to their coaching duties. The first Eastern basketball team was coached by Clyde Wilson, who also served the college as instructor in manual arts, physical education, and director of gymnasium and athletics. He guided Eastern to a 3-3 three three record that first season. Before the athletics program was suspended in 1917 by World War I, Eastern had produced six seasons of 500 or better basketball for coaches Charles Keith and Ben Barnard. The Maroons were coached by George Hembree from 1920 to 29. Eastern put three winning teams on the court from 1921 to 24, which included four victories over arch rival Western Kentucky. Charles Turkey Hughes, who would later become Eastern's director of athletics and longtime baseball coach, took over the coaching reins in 1929 and directed the Maroons to a 14-8 record, which included a 10-point win over the University of Louisville. Hughes, a member of the OVC and EKU Athletics Halls of Fame, followed his initial season as the Maroons head coach with five more seasons of success, compiling a record of 68 and 40, which included wins over Miami of Ohio, Western Kentucky, and Louisville. Rome Rankin, who also coached the Maroons football team, handled the basketball coaching duties for the next 10 seasons and compiled a very impressive 135 and 53 record. Rankin's last season was his best as the Maroons went 21-3 and, and won the Kentucky Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, climax with a 65-51 victory over a strong University of Louisville squad. Fred Lewis, who made the All-KIAC tourney team with teammate Goble Ritter, was selected to play in the annual College Pro All-Star Game in Chicago after the close of this season. Lewis won the All-Star Game for his team by making a long shot in the last minute of play. Lewis was picked as the most valuable player in the game and was awarded the William Randolph Hearst Trophy. Due to the increased enrollment of the student body and the demand of the public for basketball tickets, Eastern found it necessary to expand the playing and seating facilities in the Weaver Health Building in 1946. Paul McBrayer began his 16-year stint as the Maroons head coach in 1946-47 by going 21-4 with wins over Pepperdine, Baylor, and Tulsa. Counting the end of the previous year, Eastern ran off 18 consecutive wins over a two-year span, which included the first 11 games of this season. By joining with Western Kentucky, Moorhead State, Murray State, Evansville, and Louisville to form the Ohio Valley Conference in 1948, Eastern's caliber of basketball steadily improved. In Eastern's first year in OVC play, the Maroons finished 16-3 overall, 7-3 in the OVC, and advanced to the semifinals of the OVC tournament while being 24th in the nation in the final poll of major college teams. In 1949-50, and 50, the Maroons, comprised mostly of seniors who had played four years for Paul McBrayer, won the OVC tournament by scoring a stunning upset over Western Kentucky before 8,000 fans at the Jefferson County Armory Arena. This was a fitting climax to the season for the Maroons, who finished the year ranked 11th in the nation, just five-tenths of a point out of a final top 10 ranking. In 1950-51, Eastern finished 21st in the nation with a final 18-8 record, which included victories over Virginia Tech, Dayton, and North Carolina. 6'4 forward Jim Bechtold ended his illustrious four-year Eastern career following the 1951-52 season with 1,137 points and 933 rebounds. He was a three-time All-OVC selection, a two-time All-OVC tournament choice, and a UPI Honorable Mention All-American pick in 1951-52. He was taken as the second pick of the NBA draft by the Baltimore Bullets and had a five-year professional basketball career that included being NBA Rookie of the Year for the Bullets in 1953. Bechtold closed his pro career with a four-year stint with the New York Knickerbockers. McBrayer's 1952-53 team won the Maroons' first regular season OVC title and made its first NCAA tournament appearance, losing to Notre Dame 72-57. In 1954-55, paced by junior forward Jack Adams, who ended the season as the nation's 28th leading scorer with his 23.2 points per game average, Eastern collected its second OVC tournament title with a 76-59 decision over Murray State. Adams, who played varsity basketball three seasons for the Maroons and was a three-time All-OVC choice, had his number 40 jersey retired by Eastern, the only number in any sport to ever be retired by the university. 
He scored 1,460 points in his three-year varsity career for the Maroons. On January 22, 1958, Eastern began what would turn out to be a 38-game home court winning streak at the Weaver Health Building with a 72-64 victory over Murray State. The win streak would span four seasons and would, ironically, end with a loss to the Racers, 82-80, January 8, 1962. In 1958-59, Eastern captured the OVC Championship with an overall record of 16-6. The Maroons played in their second NCAA tournament game in the school's history, losing in the first round to the University of Louisville, 77-63. Following the 1962-63 season, Eastern closed its competition in the Weaver Health Building after three decades of basketball action. Eastern teams won 225 contests and only lost 51 during this 33-year period.